Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to tour my cabana. And this is Brother Luca. He'll be joining us. Now the cabana is where a lot of furniture I bought many years ago has gone to live as I changed my house around. So one of the first things I bought in lighting was this 18th century silver leaf uh, Empire chandelier. So I love it as the focal point as you walk up the stairs in the cabana. Also, as you go up the stairs, you can see part of a triptych that at one time was in my living room when I had more green and earth tone colors in my house. It's above an 18th century Italian bench that is covered in an animal print. Now, a functional piece here at the top of the stairwell is this buffet decor that is out of Shen, French Shen. And uh, it's where the coffee pot lives and microwave and things like that. So guests can have everything at their fingertips. If you come around the corner, you're going to see a little Italian console. And that's the other part of the triptych. This console is the perfect place for you to just drop your keys as you enter. And uh, it used to be in the foyer of, of one of my first homes in the city of New Orleans. Now in the bathroom, we just gave it a little redo with marble and a little marble sink and a custom pedestal. But the antique in that room is an 18th century Italian silver leaf mirror and it just works perfectly with the chrome sconces. In the bedroom, we have a pair of uh, Terrachon Maison canopy beds. Now, this is the perfect place in a guest bedroom uh, for twin beds. I'm in love, I have a love affair with twin beds. But here they're dressed in a little Belgian linen. Now, um, the, the side table is Italian directoire. And I love the movement of the legs of the side table because it really matches the curvature on the canopy. There's a tall case, 18th century Swedish clock here. And then there's a beautiful Louis XIV, Louis XV transition chest for the guests to unpack. The uh, Italian table here can work really as a desk or to have a meal if they want to eat privately in their space. Now, uh, it's paired with little mid-century chairs. We have an Italian lamp in the corner, a little Swedish side chair. One of the first items I ever bought is this armoire. You know, I went out looking for a desk and I turned the corner and I saw this transition armoire. It's Louis 1415 and I fell in love with the burl wood on the and the matching panels on the door fronts. So what I talk about in the book Soul of the Home is when you connect to a piece Remember to pull the trigger because you're never going to see it again if it's a one-of-a-kind item. So I use this in my living room. It has my television, my media, and you know, right now it resides in the cabana. I've never regretted the purchase one day. So fall in love with collecting. I hope to convince you to do so. This is Soul the Home, my book with Abrams Publishing. Thanks so much for joining me today.